we are here at the conservatory at the Bellagio. And in 2021, in February, they are celebrating Chinese New Year in the conservatory. The Oni sculpture, symbol of wealth, power, and class. Koi fish, don't throw coins in the water even though there are giant coins in the water. That's funny. Oh, they are feeding the fish. They are feeding the fish. Feeding the koi. How old are these koi? Um, I would guess, I, I know for certain, you know, that the younger, uh, smaller ones in here yeah. are the smallest of the species. Um, but yeah. Are, are they going to be around for a while? Yeah. Almost three. Almost three. Uh, the medium sized ones here, uh, in here, also born here, and okay. they will be uh, six. Oh, wow. Uh, the largest ones were brought in 10 years ago, so I'm guessing they're at least 12. Oh, wow. They may be closer to 14. That's awesome. They've been here for a while. It's funny that there's a sign that says no coins, so people are throwing in dollar bills. <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> I haven't seen that one before, but yeah, that's, that's, that's here. That's cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And the place of Zen. Those are the Luminaria candles. It's like two of them need new batteries. These things are actually really cool. These, uh, these are actually candles that have, it's hard to see, but they actually are producing smoke like incense. So. If you go to the Bellagio, you definitely want to check out the conservatory. Now, sometimes there's a line to get in here. Uh, the line does move very quickly, uh, but uh, that's kind of how they're doing it with uh, COVID. And even during non-COVID times, it can get really crowded in here. So sometimes they'll add a line anyway. But uh, when it's not very busy, like it is, it's not very busy right now. Normally, I think this time of year, they wouldn't even have the lines. So, plus there's a restaurant in the back. So. Thank you for not walking through the garden. Well, thank you for... Wait, who the heck would walk through this garden? I'm not... Climb the rocks or something? gotten that far yet, but that's uh, kind of cool. That's gorgeous. Ding pots. These vessels are commonly made of bronze, widely used for cooking, and could only be possessed by an official or a king. This one is used for worshipping. So, that's another view of the whole thing. Sadell's for brunch. Great brunch place. They actually just ate there, had some amazing eggs benedict. They also do something called a Vegas omelet, which is a little bit differently assembled than a normal omelet. They put all the cheese on top, but it was still really good. Some big cattails there. Blue tango. I think the conservatory is still, oh, there, that one's actually really easy to see, the smoke coming from. Can't see that. Um, I think the conservatory is a really good reminder that the Bellagio was really built by Steve Wynn. You know, and now it's been kind of taken over by MGM, but it 
but uh, still it changed a little bit of the character, uh, especially the conservatory with the gardens. One might say that the theme of the Wynn Hotels is flowers. It's not really a theme, but it definitely is uh, quite gorgeous. I spent a lot of money and a lot of time on these, and I, I really do appreciate them. Really a nice, uh, nice exhibit this year for Chinese New Year. I, I like this a lot. So. Red Chinese lanterns are commonly used as decoration during celebrations and festivals at the Bellagio. Again, thank you for not walking through the garden. Where the heck am I going to walk? I love that they have the uh, mist on top of the lake or little pond, I guess. Just gorgeous. Wow. There they are. So. Anyway, that's about it you enjoyed this please be sure to leave a comment it really helps out the channel and if you like the video that would be great that helps the YouTube algorithm and helps other people discover this video as always I am Bill Zanetti and I hope you enjoyed the beauty of the Bellagio's conservatory during Chinese New Year 2021 have a great one everybody bye bye